Dr. Zakir, could you possibly explain the term to free the captives in terms of zakat? This is the fifth category mentioned in Surah Tawba, chapter 9, verse number 60, which says, and we use for riqab, the freeing of captives. The hadith which is mentioned in Musnad Ahmad, volume number four, hadith number 18647, where once a person comes to Prophet Muhammad and asks him that what thing should I do that will take me closer to Jannah, that's paradise, and take me away from hell. So the Prophet tells him that set free a life and liberate a slave. So the person was confused, what is the difference between the two? And he was wondering what's the difference between the two. So he asked the Prophet that, is it one and the same? So he said, no. The first one to set free a life is done individually by you. You can set free a life. But the second one, that is liberating a slave, is done in collaborating with the other people and you have to liberate a slave. So if you do these things, it will take you closer to Jannah. So zakat money, can be used to liberate a slave. For example, a Muslim who's in bondage. And if he can free him by paying the master some money, what is in debt, so he can give this money to the slave and he can get his freedom. Or he can give the money directly to the master and free the slave. In the context of today, if there are some Muslim captives who are maybe prisoners of war, and if some money can be given to the people who have held them captive, and if they free them, then zakat money can be used to free the Muslims. Thirdly, it can also be used, for example, someone by mistake accidentally kills a person. And if the relatives of the person who has been killed require diya money, require blood money, so zakat money can also be used for blood money in cases of accident in which someone has killed and so that it can free the Muslims. So these are the various heads come under the category of rikab freeing of captives. Thank you.